Hi honeybees, today we're doing another declutter video. This is the second drawer in my Alex 9. We did lipsticks last time, so if you haven't watched that, I will link it down below. But this drawer here is powders, more like BB, CC kind of products on this little row. And then I have some compact foundations, and then I have some foundations in the back. I don't think that this is going to be a huge declutter like the lipstick was, just because a lot of these things I've already gone through, but I still want to show them to you today. So I'm going to start off in this little row here. So the first one I have is from It Cosmetics. It's their CC Cream, CC Plus with SPF 50, and this is in the shade Light. I honestly think I've used this maybe once. I like it better in the tube, which I have in my everyday makeup drawer, so I might end up giving this to my mom because she really likes the CC cream, so I will declutter that. Then I have the Laneige BB Cushion in the shade, hmm, doesn't say the shade on the back for some reason, but I'm sure it's light or one of their lightest shades, and it looks like it's pretty dark, however, I'm pretty fair right now. Hmm. Yeah, this is something I received at Generation Beauty, so I think I'm going to pass that along too. It's pretty funny. I said I wasn't going to do that, and then I'm already am. <laughs> but that one was a little dark. It wasn't one I purchased myself. Um, this is the Lumi Cushion from L'Oreal in N3.5. This is too dark for me at the moment. However, it is going to be a perfect shade for the summer, and I love this foundation. So I'm keeping that. I have two of the Pure anniversary special edition packaging powders and I have the shade it's called the four in one press mineral makeup I have golden medium and light golden medium is definitely more of like a summer shade for me I'm gonna hold on to it until summer to see if it'll match me and then I have the light which does match me pretty well I do love this powder and I love this packaging it's so beautiful and then I have the Marc Jacobs Foundation. This is the Marvelous Mousse in number 26 Bisque Medium. I need to start using this. I got this quite a while ago when I was working at Sephora. I love this foundation though. It's very, very full coverage. So I'll hold on to it for the time being. Then I have the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted, Tinted Moisturizer. I've wanted to love this, but my skin's just too oily for this. It just never works for me. I did get this in gratis when I worked at Sephora. It's in number light one, so I am going to pass that along even though it's beautiful. Hard, it was hard for me to part with that one. Then I have the Smashbox Camera Ready CC Cream. This helps with dark spot correction. It's in the shade light. It's a little yellow and it oxidizes a little bit on me. I did get this in gratis as well, I believe. So I am going to see if one of my family members, like my mom, will enjoy this. So I'll pass that on. Just letting you know right now, I don't really sell cream products or lipstick products, so anything I declutter here I will not be selling. Um, however, if I never touched it, like I didn't use it at all, I might. So just be aware of that. And if I do sell things, it's on Poshmark. This is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue in Opal One. I do really enjoy this, but when I mix it with other foundation, like my Cover FX Custom Cover Drops, I'm in N20, so when I combine that with it, I really do like it, so I'm going to keep those. And then I have a backup of my CC cream from It Cosmetics in the shade Light, which I will keep that. And then I have this Dior foundation. It's in the shade 030, so it's definitely one I have to mix with a lighter shade, but it's a beautiful consistency. I do just need to use this. It was from Gratis, that's why it's in this little like tester size, so I am going to try to use that up. Okay, in the back here, I have a lot of, like, more backup stuff. Makeup Forever tends to send more than one shade of foundation. So I have the Water Blend number Y225. I have another version of this in a different shade in my daily uh, makeup drawer. So this is, like, a backup shade. I will keep that. And the YSL La Tint. Fusion Ink Foundation in BD20. I do really enjoy this one. I haven't used it in a while though, so I'm going to put it in the front here. Then I have my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation in Fair Light Neutral. Absolutely loved that a lot. Last year I used it quite a bit, so I need to use that again. And the Fit Me Matte and Poreless from Maybelline, and this is in the shade 112. And then I do have a bunch of kind of like backups back here. 
that are different shades. So I have Born This Way from Too Faced. I have one already in use that's in my other drawer. An Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. This is a little bit lighter than the one I currently have and using that as well. I have the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation in Shell. That's a really full coverage one, so I don't use that very often. And then I have a bunch of HD foundation for Makeup Forever. I have a few different shades. 117 or 115 are like my perfect ones, but I have one, two, three, four backups back there. I'm not gonna get rid of that anytime soon because it's one of my most worn foundations, so it's gonna be staying back there for now. Next, I have a Tarte Powder Foundation, and I really do love this. It does have good coverage, but it's in light, medium, neutral. It's a little too dark for me. I might end up passing this along to, um, like, my mom because she's a little bit darker skin than I am. I'm not sure. This is a really beautiful powder, but I think it's time for me to pass it along because I have been leaving it in the drawer and not using it. This is the Jouer Glisten Brightening Powder. I have not even tried this yet. I did get this, I believe, at Generation Beauty, so I'll be keeping that to try soon. I have my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Cameo. I do really enjoy this, but I've just been trying to use up my Cover Effects one, so that one's been on the back end of things. Speaking of Cover Effects, I have another one here, the Illuminating Setting Powder. I'm currently using the Matte Setting Powder, and I like it a lot. It's the Illuminating. I haven't used as much, but I do want to try that still. I have this UV Mineral Sun Kill Natural Powder. I think I'm going to pass it along. I don't, I don't reach for that at all. I have the Banana Powder from NYX. Another one I'm going to pass along. Banana is just too yellow for me. I have an It Cosmetics Compact Foundation in Light Medium. This is more of like my summer shade. I did use it quite a bit last year, so I am going to keep that. I have a Makeup Forever Pro Finish. This is way too yellow for me, but you can almost see pan on it because I was making it work for me because I loved the coverage of this. But I don't know, I may need to pass this along. It's in shade 118, which is just a little too yellow for me. So I'll have to think about that one. Another It Cosmetics Compact Foundation, powder foundation. This is in the shade Light, and it's the Celebration Foundation Illumination. This is much better suited for my skin tone, and I really do like that, so I will keep that. This is pretty new to my collection, the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfection Powder. So far, I do enjoy this. Um, I got it in shade 1. However, I do think that the Hourglass powders are way better and they're kind of comparable, but I will keep that. Have a Too Faced powder, cocoa powder in light medium. Again, this is more of like a summer color for me, so that's why it's not getting much use at the moment, but I do like it. A NYX blotting powder. It's a little too yellow for me for a blotting powder, so I am gonna pass that along. Um, it's in the shade medium dark. Maybe that's the reason why, Melissa. <laughs> it's too dark for me. Then I have this e.l.f powder that I have been trying to use up forever. It's like a brightening powder. I am going to still, it's still in my like use up uh, that I'm going to do for this year. It's a complexion perfection. Use it under the eyes a lot and to kind of touch up shine. So I am going to try to still use that up. I have a Milani prep set and go transparent face powder that hasn't even been opened yet. I have an Ofra setting like translucent oil control powder that hasn't been opened. And It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. This is their pressed version of it. And I have used that and did enjoy it. So got rid of a few powders there. Let's see if all of these can fit in now. Woohoo! Look at that. All those fit nice and snug in there now. I got a little bit of space. So that is it for this drawer. Still have a few in each of these little slots, nothing crazy, and you did see I have quite a bit of backup in the back here of foundations, but that kind of happens when you're a beauty YouTuber, <laughs> and I do try to give away some of my foundation, like the darker shades, a lot of the times I do that I'm not going to use, but that is it for this drawer. Okay, this next drawer I have concealers, primers, more primers, more concealers and some unopened primers on this side and concealers on this side. So I'm going to start off over here. I have two unopened Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Primer. Uh, oh, you can't even see that. I'll put it over here. These are awesome, so I definitely will be keeping those. I love that. I have two of these NYX 
color correcting concealers that haven't even been opened. I don't really color correct ever, so I think I am going to give those away. Okay, let's start out with these primers over here. So I have the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Primer Serum Pore Defense. I like this, but I don't love it, but I am trying to kind of use that up, so I will keep that. I have the Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer. Not my favorite primer, and I actually have not even use this I don't think so I think I will pass that along I have two makeup forever primers the step one um, let's see if you guys can see that hopefully I have two of the makeup forever primers these are awesome this one's the hydrating this is just the nourishing I usually go for the mattifying but I do really like these so I am gonna try them out oh I do have one more here's the mattifying and I'm actually using one right now I think it's the smoothing so I do love these I'm gonna keep those I have the cover FX illuminating primer why I still have this I don't know I love cover effects but that's too it's too glowy for me since I do have a little bit more oil on my skin. This is the One Day Whitener. Flawless and pure white face lasting for all day. I think this is from, it's a Korean brand, Korean brand. I think I'm gonna pass this along. I haven't even used that. It just looks super cute, so I wanted to keep it in my collection. This is the YSL Top Secret Flash Radiance Skin Care Primer. I haven't even touched this, so I do wanna use that once at least before I give it away. Glow Maximizer from Dior. I've heard this is magical. I want to try that. Professional. Obviously, I always have to have this around. One of my Holy Grail primers from Benefit. Then I have this NARS Radiance Enhancing Pro Prime. Another one that I have not even used. Let me see how this looks. If it's too radiant on my hand, then it will be too radiant on my skin. Mm, it goes on really pretty. It has like a nice scent to it too. It's very pretty. I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to try that out and get back to you guys. But I decluttered a few of them. So that's okay. Now I have a bunch of concealers, and I probably have way too many. I don't need this many. There's probably a few in here I can declutter for sure. So I have the Born This Way concealer. I really do like this, but mixed with another concealer because it doesn't last very well on me. Um, I am using, I think, Fair right now. And Fair and Light are in my drawer for every day, but I also have the Light Medium and the Very Fair in here as backups. I have not used them yet. Then I have the Naked Skin Concealer in Light Neutral. I will keep that. I have... The Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser from Maybelline in the Illuminating Shade. Love this. This is like a repurchase, so I'll definitely keep that. I have the Laura Mercier High Coverage Concealer for Under the Eyes in Shade 2. I honestly have not used this yet, so I can't say that I would declutter it yet. This is definitely too dark for me. I don't know why I've kept it around. It's the Dior Skin Sculpt Concealer. It's because it's high-end, and I wanted it to work so bad for me, but it's a little dark, so I'm going to pass this along. Uh, another Dior product, but this is a Radiance Booster Pen. I have not used it, so I'm going to keep that. I have a Givenchy Mr. Bright Pen. Another one I haven't used, but I'm going to hold on to. I have a few of the Makeup Forever HD concealers. I love these. I kind of mix a few different shades, so I am going to keep those. I have this one. I haven't touched it. It's the Boing from Benefit. It's in shade 1, which I do think it's the lightest, but it just looks dark to me. I'm going to have to still try that out before I give it away. I have a concealer pencil from Nude Sticks in light number 2. Another one I have not tried. It's probably why I have so many concealers, because I just want to try them and I just don't have the chance to. This is a Cover FX concealer, really good high coverage one for when I have a blemish, so I do want to keep that. Same thing with this Tarte concealer. It's more of like my blemish concealer. It's in fair light. And this is a concealer pencil that I got in like a subscription service. Really good for under the brow. I probably should put that in my brow stuff instead. I have a It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Concealer in neutral medium. I'm going to give this away. It's not even open yet. I don't like how thick this concealer is. It's too shiny. You have to set it. So that goes bye-bye. And I also have a Touche Clot Radiant Touch Concealer in shade 1. I love this. Keeping that. Alright, 
so I did declutter a couple there. These concealers that are on the side here are darker shades of the Makeup Forever HD Concealer and the Born This Way Concealer. Um, I've given some to friends and family members and I'm keeping them just for that reason. They're beautiful concealers, I just don't want to throw them out or get rid of them. They're awesome, so I'm going to keep those there. Another, oh I did that primer. I have a few primer samples in the back here. Let me try to get that. I have a few primer samples in this little jar. I gr grab from here when I go on vacation, so I do want to keep all these. I have like the Hourglass Mineral Veil. I have a smaller size of the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer, which I love. I also have the Nourishing Primer from Makeup Forever. Another Hourglass. This is the Pore Prime from NARS. The Pure Minerals Correcting Primer, and then a Pixi Flawless and Poreless Primer. So I keep those back there. I also have a backup setting mist. This is the Spackle Mist from Laura Mercier. I haven't tried that out yet because I'm still trying to work through my other ones that I have open. Then in the back, I do have a mattifying primer from Cover Effects. I love this primer. And I'm not currently, I'm currently using, like I said, the Makeup Forever one, so I don't want to open that just yet, but I do love it. Then I have two of the NYX, actually I think I have three, three of the NYX primers. These are like the deluxe size. I have used a full size of the Angel Veil before and really enjoyed it, so that's why I'm hanging on to this. But the Shine Killer and the Pore Filler, I have not tried. So these are like ones that I just haven't opened yet, and once I try them and use them, I'll decide if I want to keep those around or not. Then I have this... Prelude in the Clouds Aqua Primer from Rouge Bunny Rouge. Beautiful packaging, but I think I'm going to pass this along to a family member. It didn't, it worked fine on my skin. It feels really amazing on the skin, very hydrating, but I think it's just a little too much for my skin type, so I am going to pass that along. And then I also have the Jouer Anti Blemish Matte Primer. I've heard great things about this, but I just haven't tried it out yet. This primer, you guys, look how beautiful this is. I am literally just keeping this around for the packaging. I got this free from Influencer, and it's a, like, bomb consistency that's supposed to mattify from YSL. I didn't really love it on my skin. I feel like it broke apart my makeup if I tried to put it over the top, but I'm not giving that away. It's just too pretty. <laughs> so it stays in that drawer. So that was pretty successful. Here are all of the products that I ended up decluttering this time around. 17. I think I counted that right. 17 products. So powders, concealers, primers, and I'm going to let my family and friends dig through this first. I hope you guys enjoyed this round of my declutter. I will have another one up very shortly, and if you are new, please do subscribe for more videos and hit that bell icon. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help me, and I will see you guys again soon.